Welcome to the Daily Motivational Challenge. I'm your host, Julie Wilkes, and each day I'll be releasing a short inspirational message, a fitness tip, and a daily challenge for you. Now, it's important to note that just like you, I'm on a continual path of self-improvement. And while I'm passionate about the advice I give, I by no means am perfect at it. With that being said, here's today's motivational message. It's called Glass Half Full. Is your glass half full or half empty? It's so important to keep a positive mindset during our most difficult times. The law of attraction states that like attracts like. When we keep a positive mindset, we tend to attract positive things into our lives. But when we keep a less than positive mindset, well, then we tend to attract less than positive things into our lives. I learned this lesson very clearly by working with a young man from the Make-A-Wish organization. See, I have the opportunity to volunteer with Make-A-Wish as a wish grantor. And I was assigned one wish a few years ago in which I had to uh, go meet my wish kid named Chris. Now, Chris had just learned that he had cancer and he would shortly be starting his therapy. Prior to that, I wanted to talk with Chris and understand a little bit more about him, what he'd like out of his wish, and anything else he wanted to share. One of the things he shared was that he hoped to eventually be a professional baseball player one day, and that was a really big goal for him. A few months down the road, Chris had gone through some of his treatments and had gone through chemotherapy and radiation and quite a few other things, and they just weren't working. So at one point in time, the doctors decided that Chris would have to have his leg amputated. After the surgery, I went to go visit Chris, and I was pretty nervous about walking into his room. I wasn't sure what to say or if I'd be able to say the right things at all. I walked in and took a big breath and took a look at him, and he was all smiles. And I asked him how he was doing, and he said he was great, how, asked, and then he asked me how I was doing. I said, well, you know, I, I, I wanted to talk about what just happened, and if you're feeling okay with it, I mean, you said you want to be a professional baseball player, and you had all these goals for your life, how are you feeling about things? And he took a look, one look at me as if I was crazy and said, what do you mean? I can still be a professional baseball player. I just might have to play in a different league. And then he smiled and went on to talk about other things. And it was at that point in time that I realized how his positive mindset was keeping him going. And he didn't see this as a stumble at all. All he saw was just another turn in his road. So I challenge you today to keep your glass half full. Look at things with a positive mindset and try to see the best in things, just like Chris. Now here's your fitness tip for the day. I challenge you to set a goal for the rest of the week. Make it measurable. This can be so important in terms of helping to achieve your goals. Setting some ambiguous goal like I'm going to try to work out this week won't get you very far, but if you can say I'm going to work out five days this week, 30 minutes a day, much more measure measurable, much more likely that you're going to attain it. So set a goal right here, right now, and I ask you to stay focused on it. So for your challenge, try to keep a positive mindset about you. Remember the story about Chris and how you can choose to see a situation any way you want. But like attracts like. Try to bring positive things into your life by staying positive. And don't forget to set that goal. Until tomorrow, I'm Julie Wilkes and I'm wishing you a great day.